Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Well, earlier today, I, I wasn't able to stream uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Just, um, my alarm went off. Or, my alarm went off. Uh, I just woke up. Uh, I'm, I've been doing this recently, ever since going to part-time. But anyway, just, alarm goes off. Beep, beep, beep. Wake up and poof, shut the alarm off and then go right back to sleep. That's what happened today. So, um, I ended up missing my streaming window, and, and or I ended up missing my streaming window. Meaning, I weird as it might sound, I can't, especially on a work night, I can't really make up make up the lost time. Um, once I miss my streaming window, I pretty much can't stream again because there's still other shit that I have to get taken care of before I have to work. But, but anyway, I'm kind of kind of digressing here so what i wanted to at least go ahead and do so this wasn't a completely unproductive day i've done this once before i figured I figured it'd be high time to do it again um let me oh and um what you're seeing here is the result of uh three or four different windows going at once so if um if i end up making a mistake i might end up having to just abandon the video entirely because i might have done something really structurally wrong but you get the idea anyway Anyway, but this is uh this is another Jessica Wildfire argue or article called "The War on Brains for Living in a World of Fragile Ignorance." So this, like I said, I've done this one, I've done this once before, so I figured it seemed to go okay last time. Well, why not do it again? Um, and uh, the music that I'm gonna be playing, let me go on here, cause I'm only gonna I'm only gonna do this once. This is gonna be uh called Dior Weg. Compendium, um, Compendium of Frost. It's a um, old school dungeon synth and um, dungeon synth and dark ambient music. Uh, this is something else that I started playing recently, um, like door for my pseudo cast and stuff. And uh, I actually thought it, it's, it's some good music. And on top of that, it seems to go past uh, YouTube's uh, content ID system too. So, okay, let me uh, check the size. Okay, so what I'm, uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, what I usually do is just gonna go down the article and just uh, do some commentary on it. So but first, let me get the music going. Oh, and I've never heard this music before, so for all I know, I might just royally suck. I was originally looking for dark ambient music, but uh, this, this came up, so we're kind of getting the bonus plan here. Two for one. Alright, so here we go. Oh, sorry. False start. Um, I'm also drinking a can of a V8 Energy peach mango flavored. And um, I've read I've already read like the first few paragraphs of this. So this here is gonna be somewhat rehearsed. Yep. That's definitely a way of looking at it. The lungs of the world have cancer. Lung cancer. Don't really produce. Nope. Atmosphere. Yep. Yep. Giant air conditioners keeping the keeping the planet cool. Without them, we're done. Yep. Used to. New studies show they've been emitting more carbon than they consume over the last ten years. Yep. I wonder why the current president. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Blasted ahead with deforestation. Yeah. It's his country. Um. Despite common sense of clearing land for cattle and soy. that defy logic on the surface he's motivated by money and power. Absolute power corrupts, absolutely. 
actually loses money when you account for the damage it does to agricultural potential in general. Ignorance is on the rise. We declare a war on brains. Yeah, but I think I think it's been this way though for many, many, many years. This shit's gone on long before then. Or long before now. And I Alright, let me do a sound check. Something I forgot to do earlier. Alright, for the moment I'm gonna say close enough. We're getting upset at the wrong things. Yup. I think I know I think I know what she's gonna say next. It's been a recurring theme in her articles. Or, yeah. I've heard uh Bill Maher cracked some jokes about Tucker Carl Tucker Carlson, but I don't know who he is. Is it whipping millions of Americans up over climate destruction and billionaires wiggling out of there? In a vain attempt to escape the destruction they're caused. Yeah, this. There was another um uh, there's another wildfire article that but that's what they're doing. Um Jeff Bezos. I wanna say Mark Zuckerberg. Some other guy named Richard Branson, um, Elon Musk, they're all wanting to go into space now. So yeah, they're they're trying to escape the destruction they've caused. Yup. And this is something else that's been going on for ages. It it could probably it probably goes back as far as uh as far as uh, religion, like w like 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 way back in ancient times when they sold indulgences or you know that kind of thing or basically trying to hide the truth that they were uh that they were just as sick twisted and perverted as the general populace but they um used religion to cover it up you know or at least in my mind selling indulgences where uh, you pay money to have your sins forgiven it was probably just another way another way to cover up all the shit that they were doing trying to make themselves out to look like a bunch of cool swell guys you know hey did you did you bang your 12-year-old sister? Well, here, if you pay uh, $10, all will be forgiven. Cha-ching! There you go. This is the other part, too. They're sheeple. That's... That's the short answer to this. And plus, uh, don't just, uh, they always follow the mainstream. They accept the mainstream as dogma. And, um, and if sheep or anything like birds, they bond with the first, you know, like birds, I think they bond with the first thing they see. If the first thing they see is their mama, then that's their mama. If the first thing they see is a acorn, then their acorn, that acorn is their mama. Um, in fact, now I'm going to think about it, there actually is a... There's, like, actually classic cartoons that are based on that. Like, um... Like, a, I guess, a, a vulture. A vulture about to eat the eggs. One of them hatches, and the chick goes, Mama! And then, no, 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 I'm not your mama. Or, you know, something like that. And the cartoon will go something like... The vulture flies way over here, and all of a sudden... The chick appears, Mama! Ah! And the vulture tries to fly away from the chick, and then... Flies to the moon, and all of a sudden the chick appears, you know, comes out of the ground. Mama! Ah! It flies across the galaxy. You get the idea. But yeah, there, but there is, I think there is a classic cartoon based on that. So, like, like I said a few moments ago, if, uh, if sheep are anything like birds, then that's the way our sheep are as well. Um, they're gonna, they're gonna believe the first thing that comes to mind. You know, if they have a, if they have an unanswered question, they're going to believe the first thing that pops up on Facebook. Oh, that's got to be true. It's on Facebook. So. If they are, they will themselves in a state of constant righteous anger. 
Um. Okay, I think this is probably as far as I got in uh, checking this uh, article up. But uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show the video because uh, this might this definitely will probably get my uh, cost my video to become flagged by YouTube, flagged for copyright. So I'm just gonna skip that. But um, uh, it just for uh, most of the 30 seconds, you're just gonna see her. Uh, kind of a spoiler, sorry, but like I said, I can't I can't play this video. But it just basically shows her <laughs> for most of 30 seconds because she's got COVID. That's a video from the Australian government encouraging young people to get vaccinated and or keep following health guidelines. <clears throat> most people under 40 there can't get a vaccine. And I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure the effectiveness of the AstraZeneca shot, so, but like I said, I don't, I don't know much about what goes on in Australia, so. It's hard to know what's dumber, releasing a video to terrify young people, while largely denying them effective vaccines, yeah. And now that I think about it, this itself here might actually be an act of terrorism. Because, you know, they got a video here that scares the shit out of people. Like the this commercial above. But yet, but yet, you're denying them effective vaccines, which really jacks, which really jacks up the terror factor. This could be an act of terrorism right here. Watching the video trivialized in the pandemic. Now, to be fair, though, she said it, uh, she said in another article... Because they kind of did that here in America. And, um... Because, uh, right when the pandemic first came out, a lot of people were saying, just load up on vitamin D and you'll be okay. I mean, to be fair, I swallowed that bait as well. There were still a lot of people dying. Dying from the virus. Despite, despite doing just that. Doing all the effective, you know, treatment, prevent, you know, prevention treatments and whatnot, you know, taking the vitamin D and all that. And they were still dying anyway. So, so yeah, it, so I gotta, so i am definitely gotta admit on that one there, I, I fell for this one too. But then, um, my own reasoning on that too was, uh, I mean, last I checked, the, I mean, the, the coronavirus isn't the AIDS virus. So it's not shutting down your immune system in the process, and it's not, and it's not the anthrax virus either, which literally causes your immune system to turn against your body. So I was going off of that as well. In such a pandemic that you need to hire actress. Uh, no. No. You don't need to hire actress for that help. You don't even need to make commercials out of it. I mean, if it's if it's a pandemic, I mean the issues are more than likely right in front of you. Huh? Average death from COVID is above the life expectancy. Yeah, I don't get that one either. So what are they what are they saying? That if you get COVID, you actually live longer? Uh no. A real pandemic doesn't need a bargaining campaign? Um Partially? I mean, if you're talk, I mean, if you're talking a, a real pandemic, something like uh, the Black Plague, where bodies are just dying in heaps, like you're having to run around in wheelbarrows and a, in a garbage dumpster trucks dumping bodies. No, you wouldn't need a marketing campaign for that. But so, and now that I think about that. Yeah, I still don't get that one. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll highlight both of these because they're about the same. Yeah, it, no, no. 
But uh, but again, what? But again, like I said a few moments ago, I fell for this as well. You know, don't you know? Just take vitamin D and go out and get some sun, and you should be able to resist the virus. It's all about the immunity system. But nope, there are people are still dying anyway, despite doing all of that. In a country like America, where vaccines are plentiful, plentiful but common sense isn't. Or one that's managed to keep itself breaks. Oh! Yeah, and then looks like, based on this, we really screwed up on this one. I mean, if they're... If they're keeping the outbreaks under control without giving them vaccines... So it seems like uh, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure in this case. Constantly want to shoot the messenger. Now, in I mean, at least in my mind, I mean, or yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say on this too. On one end, I think presentation is important. Like, uh, you shouldn't be uh, you shouldn't be uh, annoying about it. Um, you are you shouldn't be intimidating, for lack of a better word. You shouldn't be intimidating to the point where we actually, uh, we actually become resentful and end up doing the opposite just to spite you. I mean, Lord knows that was why I was, uh, why I, why I was, uh, so obese for so many years. I got sick and tired of, uh, fitness health nuts, you know, telling me how to run my life, and they weren't. But, uh, in a sense, they were shooting the messenger because, like me, like a lot of other addicts, we don't always, you know, we don't enjoy our addictions. It's just something that we have to do, and I've known, uh, I've known people like that throughout my life. You know, they want to quit smoking. You know, they want to quit drinking, but it, it's not, you know, there's there's no alternative to what we're, you know, no alternative to what we're taking, you know. But uh, I'm kind of rambling on here, so, but yeah, I kind of, I mean, I did it, but you know, a simple, me you know, a simple message on TV, it, I mean, I mean, it's not that bad, you know, it's not, it's not that bad, you know. Throwing a civil commercial on a TV just to raise a little bit of awareness. I mean, that... That... You're not really... I mean, you're not crossing the line there, you know. There's still people out there trying to lecture us that billionaires aren't responding. Yep. The richest 10% contribute over half of the world's carbon emissions. Um, those that have ever played the game Final Fantasy VII, remember Shinra Inc., Shinra Incorporated? It's the first thing that comes to mind when I read this. They're gonna fuck this planet up, but then they're looking for ways to, you know, escape or escape the criticism. So. Chief. Yup. Yup. Single use plastics producing art. Then lying about it. Yup. And again, Final Fantasy 7. Yup. A lot of people out there. Not me. Yep, not this guy. I think it That that's that's what I was that's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for up here. It's like 90% of the destruction of the planet is caused by only 10% of the population. Yeah. I want to say uh, Bill Maher said that, but I might be wrong. Roughly half Americans. Um...
journalists and writers for telling the truth. I don't, I don't watch CNN. I don't follow mainstream news. But, um, or I, I'm still trying to work it out in my mind, but basically, I'm guessing the mainstream news media are the ones that are trying to cover up the truth. So, again, part of this goes, part of this goes back to, goes back to sheeple, what I said earlier. A lot of times they're uneducated because, because, again, if, if sheeple, i.e. sheep, if they're anything like birds, they bond with the first thing they see. Same thing here. They're getting all their news from mainstream, from mainstream media. The first thing they see. So they're just going to bond with that and accept it as total dogma. So I'm guessing, um, I'm guessing what's going on in CNN and all of them is, uh, CNN is telling, is telling the people not to get so worked up over this. Oh, Jessica Wildfire, oh, she's just some rabbit rouser. Don't worry about her. When, uh, precisely, it's the people that should be, they should be doing the opposite. Because, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right on this, but you ain't gonna, even back when I was watching, uh, when I was watching, uh, mainstream news, I, I don't recall ever seeing Jessica Wildfire being on CNN. So, the stuff she's talking about is, has nothing to do with anything on mainstream. So, this is the kind of stuff you should be reading, not CNN. I mean, just, I mean, just on that alone, you know, that she's, she's formulating, formulating an opinion that she got by not watching mainstream stuff. Um, I wish I knew her name. I wish I knew her name right now. Um, Russia and Ariana, I think it is, Russia News Network. Oh, God, I wish I knew her name, but she was a, she's another news journalist. Um, she pretty much has the same opinions as she, as Jessica does, but, again, she got all this info by actually being down in the thick of things. She's not, a. Uh, she didn't, she didn't get it by watching CNN. So, um... I think Tim Pool is another one as well, I think. But um, from the from the podcast that I've seen Tim Pool do, <clears throat> he kind of he kind of strikes me as the kind of person that does watch CNN and all that. But he's also the kind of guy. Frank Zappa is kind of like this too. <clears throat> he watches all forms of news media, even mainstream ones. But he also knows how to separate the truth from the bullshit. When uh, when watching those show when yeah when watching those shows. So, but anyway. Kind of, I'm kind of digressing there. Yup. Yup. Ba- yeah, ba- basically, uh, basically telling us to shut up. Okay, this. Okay, I'm, I'm still working this. I'm still working this out in my mind, but uh, I'm seeing a parallel between this and myself. Like uh, again, what are the reasons why I was so obese? I mean, I probably weigh about 200 now, but many years ago I weighed as much as 260. I was I was pretty much in the obese category. But one of the reasons why I stayed that way was just, you know, just people making you know making wisecracks about my weight. Um, and usually these are from uh, these are from people that are fit as a fiddle like I've never had I've, I've never been fat shamed by fat people it's always been a it's it, it's always been fit you know fit and trim people that are sitting here talking down to me but the big difference between me and these millionaires is me um I don't you know I don't like being in the state I am but again as as someone who's addicted to junk food you know it you know, I can't just suddenly stop it and quit like everybody else seems to think I can do, you know, and again, they don't seem to consider the environment. I work in a grocery store, you know, the junk food's kind of right out there in my face. I mean, yes, I could probably sheer willpower, you know, not eat junk food for one day, but 
what about tomorrow? What about the next day? But anyway, um, I'm kind of going off here, but, but it, you know, this, but again, I'm kind of seeing a parallel between this and between me and this uh, article. These, these billionaires here, they don't give two shits about it. I mean, they're, you know, they're at, you know, they're addicts, but they're not willing to admit it, or they actually enjoy being who they are. You know, and who care, who cares about the destruction they're causing? So again, this is, again, if somebody, um, again, if, if, you know, if somebody, if back, in, you know, back in the day, if somebody is sitting there preaching to me, you need to, you need to eat, stop eating that shit, or you got diabetes, I probably would have just flipped them the bird and, you know, told them to fuck off. Not because I'm a billionaire, it's because you're barking up the wrong tree. You know, you got the wrong guy. You know, so. But anyway, let me let me move along. I think I kind of went a little long, little over long in this. I was hoping to just skim on down, but didn't happen that way. Our leaders are nurturing. Oh, let me uh, look at this green one here. It takes a dump in the pond and tells you. <laughs> I like that. Can I highlight it? Yeah, I like that too. I hope you can highlight stuff more than once. Yes! George Carlin was talking about this. Um, oh, I wish I knew the name of the special. It's an HBO special. It was one of the first things he said too. Pro-life because they want to ban abortion. Or, or I, I just thought they care deeply about it because it pulls the heartstrings of religious groups and drives them to polls. After you're born, Republicans don't give a shit what happens. I'm highlighting this one too. Again, Carlin said something like this too. They're pro-life. They're all about the unborn. But once you're born, you're on your own. When you're pre, or is it? When you're pre-born, you're fine. Or when, oh, when you're pre-born, you're fine. When you're preschool, you're fucked. They don't even want to know about you. Yup, 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 yup. Yes. George Carlin says something like this too. Man, I'm like, I got half a mind to just go ahead and highlight this entire, the entire part of the article because George Carlin's been saying this for years. They want, um, oh, this is another one of his HBO specials. One he did later on in life. It was one of his last ones. No, it was his, it was the second to last one. The owners of this country want fat, ignorant people just smart enough to push the lever or to pull the levers and push the buttons, but ignorant, ignorant enough to not realize how how de how fucked in the ass they are getting by the owners of this country. Something like that. But yeah, I'll go ahead and highlight this one too. But I. I wish I knew the name. I wish I knew the name of those specials, though. But uh, um, and yes, George Carlin is one of my all-time favorite comedians. But um, just like a lot of my favorites, I don't even, I don't even know the names of the name. I don't even know the names of the albums, the specials. I don't even know the names of the um, of the bits he does. I just listen to them. So, but at, but at, as of this moment. I sure wish I knew what they were at this moment, though. Selling campaign merchandise, mocking public officials, public health officials, Tennessee just fired their... Tennessee just fired the head of their vaccine outreach program. Whoa! Not just for the coronavirus, but for all diseases. 
Ah, uh, the head of their mat, this, uh, this head guy, he must have said something that really ruffled some feathers in. I mean, if he's, uh, if he's, uh, firing it for just, not just the coronavirus, but for all diseases, yeah, he must have really pissed somebody off. Public health agencies there will no longer make an effort to write. Yup, half Americans think dinosaurs still roam this earth, and another 20% think the only one. Yup. I mean, hell, Bill Hicks was talking about this too in one of his uh, stand up bits. Uh, he was, I think he was critiquing the Bible. Dinosaurs. Why weren't dinosaurs ever mentioned in the Bible? And I can't remember this. I can't remember the stuff that he was talking about. But, but yeah. But yeah, even back around uh, Bill Hicks's time, possibly even even before then, he was he was mentioning that too. Dinosaurs are never mentioned in the Bible. what happens when you cater to the least educated demographic. Yup. And sorry to sound like a broken record, but they're catering they're catering to sheep. And if they're if sheep are anything like birds, they bond with the first thing they see. And once again, and um if the first thing they see is whatever's on Facebook or CNN, etc., or any kind of mainstream media, that's what they're going with and they're accepting that as dogma. They won't go beyond that. And I'm pretty sure as part of this brainwashing, for lack of a better word, they're probably all, mainstream media is also also mentioning, don't look beyond CNN. We have the truth. Don't look beyond this, insert mainstream media source here. Don't look beyond there. You won't need to. They're just a bunch of, they're just a bunch of little rabble rousers just trying to scare people. They're probably telling these people that as well. Which, which again, they, these guys should actually be doing the opposite. They should be looking at articles like this. Because, again, this is the untarnished truth right here. Because I've never heard Jessica Wildfire on CNN. You know, I've never heard of, you know, I've never, I've never heard of her name on Fox News back when I was, uh, back when I was watching uh, mainstream news media. So... People wind up poorer and sicker, but too ignorant to know it because they waste their time getting upset over the wrong things. Again, whatever they're they're following whatever they're following whatever's up, whatever's being mentioned on mainstream media. The end product of a nation of fragile, unstable Karens who have meltdowns. <laughs> Victoria's Secret. And as one who's worked in grocery stores for about 30 years, I've, I've seen it all. Customers piss moan over the tiniest things. I mean, apparently they're so poor that having to pay an extra 10 cents for for macaroni and cheese is, is absolutely horrifying to them, you know? I mean, you know, I mean, hey, cut us some slack, man. We're not the ones doing the ordering, I mean, you know, write your local congressman or contact walmart.com about getting more great value macaroni and cheese on the shelves. I mean, we're just the guys that put it up. I mean... But, anyway. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to put the brakes on this. But yeah, I, I kind of went a little over long on this. There's a... Um, there's still other stuff I gotta get taken care of, and I have to leave for work here in about an hour, so that don't give me much time to work with. But I just wanted to go ahead and do do another commentary bit. Again, this is something I I did maybe one time, some time ago. I thought since I'm not streaming, I might as well try to put out another one of these. So so I'm not completely unproductive. So, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and um, and I. Hopefully, I should be able to get a stream going tomorrow. Hopefully, but which which my my usual time is somewhere between 3:30 to 4 p.m. 
and that is U.S. Central Time. So, but until then, thanks again for watching, everybody, and see you all next time. Take care.